What's up everybody, Spencer here from Combo Collectibles coming at you today with a Funko News update. Uh, so as many of you may know, today was the first day of the London Toy Fair event. I know it's been a crazy year, there's been events getting cancelled left, right and centre, New York Toy Fair was cancelled, but London luckily got the go ahead to hold the event. Uh, we were all expecting some awesome Funko news, so today was the first of three days, I'm hoping for some more stuff in the coming days as well. Uh, but I figured I'd go over the stuff that we did spot on Instagram today with you guys, so you guys can keep up with the London Toy Fair Funko news. Uh, so first of all, we've got a four-pack Star Wars Valentine's Day Diamond exclusive set. Uh, so we've got Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Chewbacca, and Yoda in this set. Uh, this was a world premiere exclusive look, first look at London Toy Fair. Uh, and thanks to Funko Europe and the Geek of Steel for helping us out and posting these on Instagram. Really appreciate the update, guys. Uh, so these ones are pretty cool if you're into the Star Wars Valentine's Pops. Um, personally, I'm not as into the Valentine's Pops, but these ones are cool because they do have the diamond glitter on them as well. Uh, so those look really cool if you have like a well-lit display. Uh, they sparkle pretty good. They look pretty cool in this photo that they shared online as well. Uh, so if you guys are into the specialty Star Wars series, you may want to pick that one up. Uh, now we haven't heard exactly when that's coming out. They just said it is coming out later this year. Uh, so that was the first big thing that was spotted at London Toy Fair this week. And next up, we We've got an Amazon exclusive Batman and Joker 2 pack. Uh, now, I believe these are old molds that had previously been used, but they are putting those into a two pack. Uh, and again, it says these are coming later this year. Not exactly sure when, so keep your eye out on Funko Europe uh, and Amazon for some news on that. Uh, and again, thanks to the Geek of Steel for sharing these pictures. These are absolutely awesome. Uh, and then we have a second Batman two pack as well. So this one, again, it's old molds, but this one's a little bit different. So it's another Amazon exclusive, this time with Two Face and the Riddle. Uh, but they've added some glow paint so these ones are supposed to glow in the dark I think if that pinky purple on Two-Face and the green on Riddler is what glows, those would actually look pretty cool. Uh, so if you guys didn't pick up those individual pops, you may want to grab the set of the two of them with the glow paint. I think that would look really cool in your DC collection. Uh, and lastly, because there wasn't too much info put out on day one, like I said, I'm hoping for some more updates in the next two days, uh, but we've got some Funko game news as well, if you guys are into the Funkoverse games. Uh, so there's the Marvel Battle World Ultimate Armory. Uh, there's a new set coming out with some new characters characters there as well and apparently that game can be played individually or as part of a group uh, so that might be a fun one if you guys are into the games and you're a Marvel fan that could be a fun one and then we've got the 40th anniversary celebration ET they're doing a game as well with the Funko games uh, called ET extraterrestrial light years from home game um, so this one looks pretty cool as well. It looks like uh, it's going to be the people riding their bikes trying to get E.T. past the feds uh, to set them free at the end. You can take shortcuts on the board and stuff like that. So it looks like a, a pretty standard board game, but the pieces look kind of cool. If you're an E.T. fan, that might be a fun one to grab as well. Then we've got a new add-on to the Funkoverse strategy game, and this is the Universal Studios Monster Set. Uh, this one looks really cool as well because it is black and white, so those pieces look a little bit different as well. Uh, so I think that's an add-on that you can use with your Funkoverse games and I believe one of those is supposed to be a chase as well. Yeah, so I believe it was the Invisible Man is the chase uh, but then they also have the Bride of Frankenstein, Dracula and the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Creature from the Black Lagoon was one of my favorite old school monster movies. Uh, so that's a really cool set as well if you're into the Funkoverse games. And lastly, we've got one more from the Funkoverse strategy game. Uh, there is a Peter Pan set coming out too so if you guys are a Disney Peter Pan fan that would be a cool add-on and the Peter Pan is apparently going to be a flocked chase piece that comes in there so that's really cool too i do like when they add some variants like that especially the flocked one that'll be really cool uh, for the extra chase piece in the funkoverse game as well so there's our day one update from london toy fair uh, if you guys are interested in any of these uh, like i said most of these are supposed to be coming out later this year uh, so keep an eye out on instagram on funko europe i'm sure they'll have some more info on purchase uh, when it comes closer to those dates. I'm hoping that we see a couple more big drops in the next two days. Uh, over the past year, there's been a whole bunch of leak pop information coming out, and we're kind of hoping for some of those to get announced at Toy Fair. Uh, let me know which ones you guys are hoping to see in the comments down below. For me personally, I'm hoping for some of the anime pops. Uh, if you guys want to check out some of our old videos on the leaked anime pops over the last six months or so, definitely check them out. I'm hoping to see some of those. There was some cool Attack on Titan. Uh, I heard there's new Fairy Tale pops, uh, Naruto, Dragon Ball, all kinds of great stuff. I'd love to see a couple of those dropped in the next two days at London Toy Fair. Uh, make sure you keep it locked here at Combo Collectibles. Subscribe to our channel. Get that notification bell on as well because uh, if they announce any cool pops in the next two days at London Toy Fair, we'll be sure to share them with you right here. Uh, and like I said, let me know which ones you're hoping to see in the comments down below. 
below as well. Uh, but right now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see y'all next time.